Turkey, Syria earthquake, eight rescuers rush, over 4,000 die, 15,000 injured. The death toll in Turkey and in neighboring northwest Syria following a major earthquake rose to more than 4,000. Associated Press reported the magnitude 7.8 quake rippled through both countries early on Monday, toppling entire apartment blocks, wrecking hospitals, and leaving thousands more people injured or homeless. As rescue operations continued, freezing winter weather hampered search efforts for survivors through the night. Temperatures fell close to freezing overnight, worsening conditions for people trapped into rubble or left homeless. News agency Reuters reported the earthquake, which was followed by a series of aftershocks, was the biggest recorded worldwide by the U.S. Geological Survey since a tremor in the remote South Atlantic in August 2021. South Korea to dispatch a 60-person search and rescue team. In announcing the plan Tuesday, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol described Turkey as a brother nation that sent troops to fight alongside South Korea during the 1950-53 Korean War. Turkey lost more than 700 of its forces in action. New Zealand's aid for Turkey and Syria following earthquake New Zealand is providing $632,000 to the Turkish Red Crescent and $316,000 to the Syrian Arab Red Crescent to deliver items such as food, tents and blankets, as well as provide medical assistance and psychological support. According to Turkish Health Minister Fahatin Kocha, who spoke during a news conference from Hate Emergency Coordination Center, the weather and the scale of the disaster are creating challenges for aid items. The weather conditions and the scale of the disaster make it hard for our teams to reach the region, Kocha said, adding our helicopters could not take off today due to weather conditions. According to the World Health Organization WHO, the toll could surpass 20,000. Turkey's toll rose to 2,921 as of Tuesday morning, according to Yunus Caesar, Turkey's head of disaster services. A total of 15,834 injuries have been reported, Caesar said in a news conference in Ankara. In Syria, 1,451 deaths and 3,531 injuries have been reported by officials, reported CNN. UK is sending 76 search and rescue specialists with equipment and dogs as well as an emergency medical team to Turkey. The UK also says it's in contact with the UN about getting support to victims in Syria. Russian rescue teams from the emergency ministry are preparing to fly to Syria, where Russian military deployed in that country already has sent 10 units comprising 300 people to help clear debris and search for survivors. The Russian military has set up points to distribute humanitarian assistance. Russia also has offered help to Turkey, which has been accepted. Over 5,600 buildings flattened in Turkey and Syria. Turkish and Syrian disaster response teams report more than 5,600 buildings have been flattened across several cities, including many multi-story apartment blocks that were filled with sleeping residents when the first quake struck. Turkish Vice President Fawad Okti said such a disaster could hit once in a hundred years and that his country should be prepared for the death toll to rise. Okti also said some 145 aftershocks have been registered following the deadly quake overnight, with three that were larger than six magnitude. For more news updates, subscribe to iNews365 ko subscribe kare. और हमारे साथ जुड़े रहने के लिए नोटिफिकेशन बेल को क्लिक करना ना भूलें ताकि हर खबर रहे आपकी नजर में